happening, everyone? Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy Saturday. We are doing a uh, four-box random team break of Allen and Ginter Baseball, the brand-new release. This is break seven, and it comes from a fresh case. It's right here. It's a fresh case. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Now, one spot gets you two teams. So, like, Sir Mix-a-Lot, let's double you up. And remember, we combo the uh, Tigers and Rays. Together, let's randomize each list. Three and a one, four times. Nice low number. Thanks, Ram.org. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Four times. Daniel down to Eric. And three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three. And a one, four times. After four times, I got my Dodgers on top and the Blue Jays on the bottom. All right, so <clears throat> Daniel with the Dodgers, Nicholas with the Mariners, Amber, you got the Pirates, Eric O with the White Sox, Daniel Batera, Padres and Rangers, Adam, you got the Marlins, Astros, Royals, Nicholas Leslie with the A's, Eric O with the non sport non-baseball and other spot. I like that spot. Daniel Patera with the Angels. JKJ with the Tigers-Rays combo and the Cardinals. Eric O with the Red Sox. Daniel with the Twins. Jason with the Nationals. Daniel with the Diamondbacks. Adam with the Yankees. Daniel with the Orioles. Stephen K with the Braves. Daniel with the Giants. Adam with the Indians. Amber with the Mets. Jason L with the Reds. Daniel with the Rockies and the Phillies. Stephen K with the Brew Crew. Adam with the Cubbies. And Eric O with the Blue Jays. Now, trades are allowed, so feel free to trade if you'd like. While you're considering it, you pop open this case here. We'll see which, uh, which third of the case we're going to do. TJ feels a book coming. We have not checked off a book on our... Alan and Ginter bingo card. So that book would be nice. I know they're not easy to hit, but it's easier than maybe a dinosaur tooth. All right. TJ's got six on the roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's two. One, two. So I'll be doing this side right here. These represent the last two breaks of Alan and Ginter. So we'll, I'm sure we'll knock out both of these breaks next Tuesday. So let me put these away. We don't have any more cases in the store. This is it. All right, any trades? Gavin, what's going on? He's back. All right, looks like not. Trade window closed. Let's print. Let's go. Thanks, everyone. Our evening is spoken for, boys and girls. After this break, we've got uh, Sup Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court which is a very quick break. And then soon after that, we will do a full case of Optic Baseball, pick your team six. Then we'll do the randomizer for the promo, which you still have time to get into, folks. You still have an hour and a half to get into it. And then we'll call it a night after that. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Thank you. Always, always like the quirkiness of uh, of Allen and Ginter. And we'll save those right off camera over here just to see uh, we'll see them at the very end. All right.
got the White Sox Mariners game on MLB TV right now on MLB Network. I have the uh, put a put a penny or two on the White Sox to take this one at plus 195. So heavy dogs, but they are in command so far. Four nothing in the bottom of the seventh. So that'll be that'll be pretty good. Like the game in uh, Arizona is a final. Looks like Colorado came back to edge out the Diamondbacks 6 5. Yeah, they scored uh, one in the top of the eighth to take the one run lead, and that's that. And the Indians pounded out 21 hits against the Rangers. I think that was a Bartolo Colon start. 21 hits. Wow, it's all after, it was all in the fifth inning and later. Jeez, 21 hit 16 runs. Five, uh, six earned runs in the in the fifth, then three, or six runs in the fifth, then three in the sixth, one in the seventh, two in the eighth, and then four in the ninth. So that's a rough day at the office for the Rangers. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. So we'll breeze through the re these regular cards here. We'll save those so we can look at the backs of them. We have not seen Method Man autographs yet or Bismarck Key. Put on, I put them on the playlist, too, hoping to, to kind of snake charm them out of this set. Well, we'll see what happens. Our first hit is a Justin Verlander relic. That's for Adam, who got randomized the Astros. Chicken. And there's Billy Hamilton for the Reds. That'll be for Jason L. Is, is Santa Claus in the set this year? I'd like to see his one of one beard relic. Save one of these Otanis for the for the Angels. That would be Daniel. I'm sure those base cards carry some kind of value. It's Otani after all. And then we've got Daniel Murphy relic. So our three hits were just three relics. That'll go to the Nats. That'll be for Jason Lawner. Maybe we'll have a uh, a card numbered on the back. Maybe there's an autograph in that box topper. Who knows?
All right, so nothing there. On to the next. Box two, good luck. See, any other games of note? Oh, the Giants-A's game is still going on. Giants just tied it up in the top of the ninth. Tied 3-3, the Battle of the Bay. White Sox still leading 4-0, top of the eighth. Yankees edging out the, uh, the Mets, 7-6. Mets scoring three in the top of the ninth to bring it to six. So, But unfortunately, too little too late. Other interesting games of note. I guess not. The Red Sox getting shut out by the the Tigers. I didn't think that was going to happen, but Mike Fires going six and one third scoreless innings. Strong. Matt Carpenter hit another home run. Is that the late game? But Cardinal scoring three in the top of the ninth to take the lead and hold on to it. And rough day for the Angels. Angels got shut out too. Man managing only seven hits, three errors on the day. And they almost got, they were like no hit by Dallas Keuchel through like, through like six innings or something like that. So it's been rough. All right, let's see what's in this one. Good luck, everybody. got Ryan Zimmerman relic for the Nationals that'll go to Jason L Brian Anderson Braden Bishop is out for the season wait Braden Bishop. Need to look at his. Where is his face? Oh, his. Oh, Mariners prospect. What did he do? Did he bro break his arm? Looks like he broke his arm. Did they call up Kyle Lewis? Dust off your Kyle Lewis autographs. Ooh, six out of 50, a Dustin Pedroia rip card. Boston Red Sox, Eric O. I don't know if Eric is here or not, but to rip or not to rip, that is the question. It's up to you. Or you can rip it yourself when, you, when we send it to you. TJ says rip. Everyone wants to see it ribbed. But don't fall to the pressure if you don't want to. Nice 
nice mini Otani. You don't see these too often. We'll sleeve one of these up for you. Angels, that'll go to Daniel Patera. Uh, it's for Eric O, who has the Red Sox. I saw him in the room earlier. I don't know if he's here now. And we've got Ichiro, Mariner's Edition. A piece of his jersey. That goes to Nicholas Leslie. Nothing numbered there. Wonder what's inside. I'm trying to use that studio light to maybe look peek through it, see what's in there. All right, two boxes to go in this four box Ram team break number seven from Fresh Case. We will post another random team break um, over the weekend, and I'm sure that'll go off on. Uh, it'll go off on a. Uh, Tuesday when we get back. All right, so TJ, who got who got lucky enough to get two rip cards last night, a regular one with Manny Machado on it, just like seventy-five or fifty to fifty or seventy-five, and then a double rip card, Bryce Harper on the front, Trey Turner on the back, out of 15. Um, sometimes they're like that, Ryan. Sometimes you get the small size ones, and sometimes you get a, the, the uh, large size one, the oversized ones. It's just They're just randomly inserted. Well, TJ, TJ, and TJ is considering, hey, I think I'll rip the Machado and keep the double. Let us know what you get out of that Machado. We'd be curious. I'm sure everyone would be curious. Keeping the double. Well, remember, remember what Michael G was saying. Michael G was saying if you take a high-powered flashlight, maybe a maybe a Bell and Howell attack light. We, and I see all the infomercials for. I'm almost convinced to get one now. You can like shoot shoot the light into the card, and I think you can you can maybe see through and kind of get an idea of what the hits could be. Yes, I will be posting another optic case after tonight, but um, yeah, I, I will be posting it either tonight or over the weekend or something like that. So keep an eye out for that on jazbeeshobbyland.com. But yeah, we do have more. Good luck, everybody. We should get sponsored by Bell & Howell Tack Light. This break, this Alan and Ginter break, sponsored by Bell & Howell Tack Light. I'd do it for just a few free Bell & Howell Tack Lights. I need some Tack Lights to give away in a break? Oh, absolutely. And there's Mike Trout. Mike Trout Relic going to Daniel and the Angels. A 
I feel like... We, oh, I think there's one right there. I was just going to say, I feel like we haven't seen a framed mini of anything in a little bit, but I think there's one on the bottom there. There might be one right there, too. Spoke too soon, boys and girls. Spoke too soon. All right. We've got Justin Upton. Mini frame. Piece of his jersey. That'll go to the Angels. Daniel with that one. Looked different for some reason. It's not. All right. And the autograph is a Red Hat team. And it's Mini Auto Parker Bridwell. And that's for Daniel Patera and the Angels. There you go, Daniel. And the minis. And then our last box. Good luck, everybody. We finally found... And that's it. We finally, we finally found um, a... A, a glow-in-the-dark mini in, like, a different break, or a different Ginter break. So we can check that off of our Allen & Ginter bingo card. Chris Zombie, what's going on, man? We are doing well. We've, we've been breaking non-stop today, Chris. And I'll be honest with you, I'm feeling it. I'm exhausted. Which is a good thing. I mean, that means you guys have been keeping me busy all week. Um, we've got a couple more breaks to go. And then we're calling it a night after that. We've got a Supreme Hardcourt basketball break coming up, which is very short, just a one-box break. And then we've got a optic, full-case optic break, and then we're going to call it a night after we do the promo randomizer. Lil C says, I got a Moncada out of 50 rip card that is heavy. What, heavier than, un do you have two rip cards? Can you compare the, the weight of either one? You got you need you need some relative something relative right to to balance it out with. What if they're all that heavy? Mike Tower says check it with a magnet. Yeah, go to the fridge, grab a magnet, see if it sticks. Oh, okay. So you have two. So it is heavier than the other one. Interesting. To rip or not to rip. That is the question. I have no idea. It's a, it's a scary decision. I don't want to be responsible for it if it's just a short print that comes out and nothing especial. Mike Tower's like, not certain how to tell if, uh, if there's a wood card inside. I would think the wood card would be lighter than a regular mini card. Yeah, yeah, get the old wood magnet out. Wanted to grab that Otani for the Angels owner. Let me sweep that up. Christian Williams asking, is it just me or do you guys like lower number cards, just like out of 25s or 10s, as opposed to higher number autographs? 
I think value wise, yeah. I mean, if you get like a a non auto out of ten versus an auto out of one ninety nine or something like that, depending on the player, a lot of times that out of ten could sell a lot better than um, than the autograph itself. But yeah, Ryan's right. It really just depends on the player. There's Gary Sanchez jersey for uh, the Yankees, Adam Kupperman. And it also depends on, on the product too. I think products like uh, Donner's Optic or products like Topps Chrome and stuff like that or, uh, or Bowman Baseball, people love those parallels. So a lot of times those lower number of parallels can often go for more than someone's auto. Or the same player's autograph, you know? Just due to the rarity of it. Even the out of tens in many cases. But yeah, I mean, it's classic supply and demand, Christian. It was just just like even even without ink, if it's a lower number, people still might like that a little bit more just because of the rarity of it. Alright, behind Garrett Richards is nice mini autograph Ronald Acuna. Stephen K got randomized the Braves. There you go, Stephen K. Might be your rookie of the year right there. National League rookie of the year. So Lil C, what do you what do you think? Are you, are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna rip that Moncada or or no? All right, actor and filmmaker Tommy Wiseau. Going to the non-sport, non-baseball other spot. Eric O with that one. And that, my friends, is that. That's the four-box random teamer. Let's take a look at the backs of the minis. And we'll see what's in these, uh, these box toppers right here. All right, so nothing numbered, which is fine. Let's see if we can get anything, any magic out of here. Looks like another Ronald Acuna Jr. There he is. Clayton Kershaw for my Dodgers. I think he took the L today against the Brew Crew. And then we've got Chris Bryant for the Cubs. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Dodgers topper going to Daniel Batera. And the little guy is Gary Sanchez, the world's champion. There you go. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazpyshobbyland.com. Four box, uh, Alan Ginter, random team number seven in the books on a Saturday night. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.